Hi, Happy Knitters. Welcome back to our channel. This is episode number 42. 42. Jordan is back with us today. So if you guys missed episode 41, Alexis filled in for him and she did a pretty good job. We had a bunch of outtakes, but at <laughs> it the is end, what it is. at the end, she's six and she did a great job. So go back and check out episode 41 if you want to check out Alexis co hosting. So today well, is Sunday. Sunday, January 3rd. 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 You go back to school this week? On Thursday. Thursday. Oh, you still have a few days, so you yeah. can kind of lounge. I think Alexis goes back on Wednesday. Unlucky. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> so, for you new viewers, my name is Yolanda. I'm Jordan. And I have a daughter named Alexis, who you can check out, like I said, in episode <laughs> 41. I have another son named Dante, a husband named Steven, and we live out toward the west part of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And yeah, we had a really good Christmas. Um, we did see my parents and my sisters. We what I what I did was to make sure that everybody was safe because most of us were were off the week before Christmas, so we already had some isolation going on anyway. But when they got here, I had already planned out the seating arrangements to make sure that everybody was still social distancing. We also took extra precautions and we wore our masks because, of course, my parents are older. So we had a really, really good time and it was good to see them. It had been a, a long time since we had seen them, but we did take the necessary steps to make sure that everybody was safe. safe. So now um i think jordan we're going to put the yarnable and the knit crate subscription at the end of the video going forward just because it makes sense to put it in the acquisition section okay 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 i don't have a preference i know you don't <laughs> i know you don't so jordan let's start with the question of the day aha uh -huh. aha uh -huh. do you think that setting knitting goals help wait what <laughs> 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 I, hand, I hand wrote it and it's, so, it's a little scribble. Do you think that setting knitting goals helps, helps you? Your... you. I, I, it's, I know, it's <laughs> just, that, that, just, that's work, just, work, just work with us. Helps you or puts pressure on you? What do you think? What well, do you think about goals in general? Well, it, it, it depends. On what? I don't feel like elaborating. <laughs> I don't have the brain power to do this. <laughs> you've been on you've been on school break for for what two weeks now. <laughs> I'm still not back. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> I personally think it's a balance, right? I think it depends on your personality. If you are a person that likes goals, I think that those things help you stay on track and keep you keep you focused. I think if you are kind of a more of a let's see kind of what happens i think setting goals probably does put pressure on you i think i'm on the fence i'm kind of sort of in between um but i'm a type of person if i set a goal and it doesn't happen i'm not upset about it it's something that i'm i know i can reach for but if i don't attain it then it's not a big deal for me so yeah i'm more of a winged person <laughs> you're a winged person yeah. so you don't set goals not not often but what did you start during Christmas break? That's a goal of yours. Driver's Ed. Driver's Ed. So guys, I forgot to tell you. So Jordan had a birthday. I'm 16 now. He is 16 <laughs> years old. Do you know how old you were when we started this podcast? 12. Were you 12? Probably. Oh. Unless we started. I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> he was 13. So yeah, he's been with me for, gosh. That long a period of time? I mean, it doesn't seem like it's three, been three years, but I guess yeah. so. I guess so. Oh, my God. I want to show you a picture of when... Actually, no, no, no. I did that wrong. I was 12. I was 12. You yes, were 12? 12, 12. Okay, well, I, I was going to show you a picture, but anyway... When, when, it comes to, when it comes to kids and them uh, progressing, it's amazing how how fast you guys can um, change <laughs> change just like incredible let me see if I can find the very first episode so I'm now taller than you he is taller than me 
He has a, a slight mustache. Slight. I have one too. <laughs> Yours is a whole lot <laughs> than mine. Uh. <laughs> I try to take care of mine. <laughs> More than you all ever wanted to know. What happened, Jordan? You didn't spell happiness right. Yeah, it probably wouldn't would help. Oops. Happen. Happen. Happy pee pee. Uh, uh, what have we done? E -E. We're struggling. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Happiness. It came. It 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 doesn't oh, like. Oh, it doesn't the word like. Happy. It doesn't like the word happy. E. Autocorrect. Let's see. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Of course, it's not going to show though. Okay, guys, never mind. No, nah, no, nah, we spent all this time. We're gonna make it work. <laughs> Okay. Do you? Oops! It. Oh, there we go. What's happened? I don't know. It gave up. It. It, 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 it did it. give up. Hold on. What was that? I don't know. Computer noises. So that's what he looked like <laughs> back in the day. He was such a baby. You were a baby. Anyway, so glad to have had him around all this time. He brings out a different personality in me than, than it does when I'm podcasting or doing things by myself. It's just, I don't know, it's nice to have company. So anyway, so guys, I hope that you enjoyed the 12 Days of Christmas uh, Cal giveaway. All of the prizes were claimed except for one. So I'm still giving this person some time in order to claim her prize. Otherwise, it'll go back into the, the bucket for next year. But anyway, so I was I had a great time filming that and giving those. You need a haircut. You need a haircut. <laughs> giving those out to everyone. So and then after the 12 days of Christmas, we moved into Kwanzaa. So if you guys have not seen my Kwanzaa videos, I um, actually bought two kits, one from Mitchell's Creations, Tara, and one from uh, Carol from Chicken Coop Dye Works. Now, I got a bunch of minis from um, Mitchell's Creations, and I just showed this on, on Instagram. 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 I took all of the minis that I had and I put them in this uh, candy jar. Now this one is acrylic. Um, I've had it around for a while, but I this is my oops, this is my second year doing her uh, Kwanzaa calendar, and she does minis. So this whole entire candy jar is full of just her minis. And I said, why not? Yeah, you know, why not put the scoop in? So anyway, that is a great way to display um, yeah. your your minis and also it allows you to have a little bit of color in your stash. And I also did the same. I had a little bitty one. Um, this one is forest fibers. That's and a Sunday bowl. It's a Sunday bowl. And I decided to, oh, you can't see it anyway. So I decided <laughs> to put that in there and I thought it was kind of cute with her colors. Anyway, so yeah, we're spruce. We're sprucing up the craft room. We're sprucing. Sprucing. Bruce in. So, Bruce trees. Now I gotta tell y'all, and you don't know about this, Jordan, but yesterday I was sitting on the sofa in my favorite knitting spot, and every once in a while I will go back and look at uh, videos that I have put up. So I decided to to look at the last Kwanzaa Day Seven video, and as I was looking at Kwanzaa Day Seven, I noticed I started off saying three, two, one. It was a bad sign, Jordan. You know what I did? What? I uploaded the, un the unedited. <laughs> when I tell you I couldn't move fast enough to get off that couch, I was like, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> I was like mortified. I was like, oh my God, because sometimes so, so. <laughs> 
husband was laughing. He's like, things happen, Yolanda. I said, I know they happen. I said, but I said, it's funny, but I said, because lots of times you guys see the, the, of course, the edited version, you never see what goes on behind the scenes. And I know in that particular video, even though it was a couple of minutes, it was really short and there wasn't, wasn't anything just like out of the ordinary. Sometimes I have stream of consciousness where I'm like saying things and I go, oh no, 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 no. Yeah. I want to re, re, re say that anyway, I have the greatest subscribers and viewers in the world because not one person said to me in a comment, oh, Yolanda, I think you may have uploaded the unedited version. You guys were so sweet and never <laughs> said a word. Now, <laughs> FYI, and part of that, part of the issue was I was trying to run out of the house that day after I uploaded it. And I usually always look at what I upload before I go live with it on, on YouTube just to make sure that everything is right. Well, I've been having really good days prior to that. So I thought, okay, it's all good. And I ran out of the house, uploaded what I thought was the edited version. And then I come back and I, I'm sitting there knitting on the sofa and I'm like, oh dear Lord, dear, 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 dear me. So part of that was a glitch in my computer. Bless you, really, really? 2021. We shouldn't be yawning on the podcast. Anyway, so I'm just saying I apologize for those 140 some odd people that witnessed the debauchery of it being the unedited. Debauchery. Yeah, debauchery of it being unedited. I am getting a new computer. The other one I've had have had for at least six plus years and it is pretty much on its last leg. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Watching paint dry when you're editing, that's probably part of it. So anyway, thank you guys for being so sweet and understanding and not saying a word about day seven of Kwanzaa not being edited and just randomness. So anyway, so the correct version is up now. So for those of you who want to go back and have a good laugh, you can't because it's no longer there. You could put it off as a blooper. No, I'm not going to. Okay. I'm not going to. So anyway, so let's move on. This is going to probably be a little bit of a longer episode. So finished objects. I do have a couple of finished objects. One of them has already been gifted. So I will, I don't think I have, did I take a picture of it on here or did I take a picture of it on another device? I do not know. <laughs> you do not know oh i don't know how to work this this is my um surface pro. surface pro and it's usually i usually do not put it in tablet form i usually will just um oh you know what it wouldn't be on here it'd be on my ipad which alexis has so that's kind of a because you have you guys ever bought a, a an item and you thought it was going to be yours and then one of your children takes over and you never get it back. Well, that's what happened to me. <laughs> Alexis has my iPad and it was mine. Was. Was. <laughs> was. No longer. <laughs> no longer. It was mine. I'm looking to see if I actually, um, and I don't have a picture. I don't. So I will insert a picture of it here Boop. and just, and this was for my neighbor. Um, that lives here. She was the one that I told you in one of my vlogmas stories asked for a pair of socks and um, I told her I don't I don't sell socks because it's not worth the time or the or the energy but something just told me to go ahead and knit a pair for her because she said she's always having problems with keeping her feet warm so I went ahead and made her a pair and I surprised her with them and she wrote the sweetest note to me which made it all worthwhile now, I also put up on Friday a, a short little clip, a tutorial on how I made the band for her socks. Now, I did mine on the, I did mine with Cricut Design, but the concept is still the same whether you use Microsoft Word or whatever utility that you decide to use for making labels. They're very, very quick. And if you guys are, are knitters of socks and you gift a lot of them, then I think the band just makes it extra, extra special. So if, uh, if you need to or want to go out and check out that video, I'll put a link up here if I can remember. If I can remember during, during the editing <laughs> process on this old archaic computer. 
So Arcade. anyway, yes. So the socks turned out great. Um, I use uh, use my normal recipe two at a time, uh, sixty four stitch count. She had a size eight foot, so it was a little bit shorter than mine. So it was actually a pleasure to knit because it was a little bit of a quicker knit. I use what heel, Jordan? Flegal heel. The flegal heel, of course, with a little contrast color at the back. And I did two by two ribbing, 20, 20 rows of ribbing. And I use uh, US size one, 2.25, my Chiaogu needles. Okay, and then I finished a couple of um, washcloths, nothing super special, but this one is the premium cotton yarn and it's in their mm -hmm. colorway, I think holiday. I didn't weave in the ends, of course. No, it's called mistletoe. So it's a red and white. Um, I've got a couple more bands of this. I think these were gifted to me, um, these yarns. So, and it's not 100% cotton. It's a 75%, no, 85% cotton, 15% polyester. So in a way, this is good because it's not gonna shrink as much as 100% cotton does. So I'm curious to see how these um, work versus the other ones. And I gotta tell you, so all of the uh, dishcloths that I knit this year got gifted to all of my sisters and my mom for Christmas. So they were very happy because they love the washcloths that I give them. So they were kind of surprised because <clears throat> they weren't expecting them. And it was just nice to see them go, yeah, this is definitely a great. And, and so what happens with the strings? You weave them in so they're not seen. You know what? Since you don't knit, you could be my weaver inner. No, you need a you need a tapestry needle. I got two fingers. Okay. Whatever you say. Now this one also Finger. is. It's already gone in. Well, look at you. But it's easier with a tapestry needle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So this one is also premium um, yarn, which is also the eighty-five fifteen. I think. I could not find the colorway on this because the label said fruit punch, but this is definitely not the fruit punch colorway. So I don't know if it's, I looked to try to look it up for you guys. I think it's poolside. I can see poolside. In you can see poolside in this. So anyway, so I got two of those done. So yes, yeah, so this year I'm also going to be working on dishcloths because I'm going to be gifting those out um, at the end of the year as well. I popped my shoulder. Oh. I heard it. <laughs> it felt good. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's move on. Oh, so these, of course, let me tell you real quick, and you guys probably already know, um, I knit my washcloths on a size, US size 7, and I use a grandma's um, favorite dishcloth uh, pattern. pattern on Ravelry, like most everybody else. So there you go. And then, Jordan. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, so now let's go into whips. So I gotta tell you, I am generally a monogamous knitter. You know what that means? <laughs> big words, big words, big words. Big words. I usually work on one project at a time. Monogamous. 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 Yes, monogamous. monogamous. One, one project at a time and once I'm done I move on well wow. I don't know what has gotten into me <laughs> I don't know I mean I like all almost all of 2020 uh was really I was in a knitting slump and I didn't knit my mojo was just gone and when it came back it came back with like so much vengeance it's like <laughs> almost I can't keep up with the ideas that are going through my head and and the patterns I want to knit and and the 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 yarn I want to buy and it's it just, just going. it just keeps going so I'm telling you guys I'm on a whole nother level right now <laughs> I don't know when it's going to level off and become just like mm, shit, chill <laughs> but right now I'm like oh, yeah, yeah 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 so this one was I showed you guys last the last time this was my second messy bun hat Messy bun. Messy bun. And it is a free pattern on Ravelry uh, by Isla uh, Phelps. And I showed you guys in one of the episodes prior, the one that I, I had already done. Well, this one's been sitting on the needles for a while because 
I want to make sure that I got my neighbor's socks done. So this one's been hanging out. And this is just some line brand, um, quick and thick. And it is, um, I don't have the ball band for this one anymore either. I couldn't tell you the colorway if I wanted to. But these are very fast knitting hats because the they- The yarn is big. Nice, Jordan. Yeah. Nice. So I am knitting these on my chow. Not, no, actually, these are not my chow goo. These are my Addy uh, interchangeable needle set. And they are U.S. size 11, 8 millimeter. And these are my slick and quick. I love them. These are my first and actually my only interchangeable needle set. <clears throat> I'm planning on buying. I keep saying this and I just I literally just haven't done it. The chow goo uh, needle set. That's going to be a birthday gift to myself. So <clears throat> the laptop was a birthday gift to myself. So it's the gifts. These are the gifts that keep on giving. So anyway, check out that pattern. I might be able to do a tutorial on this for you guys if you want me to. Um, so that you can learn if you if you never knit in the round. That's a good. Uh, this is a good tool for that. And it's also a quick knit. So. I would um, uh, suggest this pattern for if you want to learn how to knit in the round and also come away with a hat. So next up is going to be, I am working on, of course, a washcloth. Another one. Another one, another one. And this is in my, I have a, a, a drawstring bag that I made, was it last year, a couple of years ago? It must it's, have been last year. No, I don't think it was last year. Was it that I think one? it was 2018. Yeah, it's just a uh, um, some um, sewing things. Yeah, it's got a sewing theme to it. You know, the sewing machine, the pin the thread. cushion, the thread, the tape measure, scissors, etc. Anyway, <clears throat> I used to sell this particular one. I, I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't think I have any more in my in my shop. But this here is just another classic. Uh, washcloth That's and right. it is the lily sugar and cream it is in the their hot pink colorway which is actually one of my favorite colors because I like bright vibrant colors so yep that's one work in progress actually that's two the hat and this one and then I started on a shawl that was not in my queue I just yeah I don't know, like I said, y'all, I'm trying to knit all the things. Anyway, I had this uh, pattern in my uh, Ravelry library for a while. It is called the Hindsight Shawl. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Yeah, the Hindsight Shawl, and it is a free pattern on Ravelry. And it is, it was done, it was for the New York Wool Walk um, in 2020, but of course that got canceled due to COVID. So this shawl is a DK weight shawl. And if you have never knit a shawl before, shawl. this is a great pattern for a beginner, um, as well as the there's a little bit of interest in the lace section. So it'll keep you interested if you're not a beginner knitter. And so I decided I had some yarn that I had for another uh, shawl, but I've deci I decided I wanted to use, use it on this instead. So, let me show you guys what what my progress is on this. No, that's what that is. I, I was wondering what it was. You didn't know what it was. It's a it's I a shawl. It is. <laughs> it is a shawl. It's a shawl, y'all. It's a shawl. Y'all. I was gonna shawl. say that. <laughs> okay, go ahead. No, it's ruined. It's too late. You, you sure? Yeah. Okay. It's a shawl, y'all. <laughs> anyway, you guys, look at the beautiful colors in. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in this uh, in this shawl. So it's showing now. It's focusing on my face. Okay, so all three of these are yarns are from Life in the. What did I, did I say that right? Let me make sure I'm telling you what the name of this Life is. Life in the long. Grass. Life in the long grass. This is my first time working with this particular dyer, and I've got to say, it is heavenly. It is lovely. The colors, I, I just, ugh. anyway, I got these at, I got these three skeins at, remember when we went to Austin, was that 2018, 
2019. 19. <clears throat> 2019 at Hill Hill Country Weavers in Austin. Hill Country. I don't remember that. Story. Yeah, you guys went to the Capitol and I went yarn shopping, I think. I thought you came with us, no? No, because I've already seen the Capitol. I've been to the Capitol. You been had there. been? Yeah, fourth grade. Oh, I don't know why you didn't go with me then. I think you said... Because the Capitol was more fun. I beg to differ. <laughs> Yarn stores are more fun. Anywho, after... <laughs> <laughs> but I think you guys. I think you guys went a couple other places too. While we I was, we got food. Yeah, while while I was in the yarn shop. But anyway, I did my damage while y'all were gone. So anyway, this is life in the long grass. This color, this darker colorway, is Andesol, and then this uh, kind of um, what do you call it, Jordan? Um, navy. No, this is that's the navy. This kind of a. Um, it's not mustard. What would you call this? Honey mustard. Yeah, I guess it could be Grey Poupon. You don't know anything about that. Anyway, so <laughs> this is this is the colorway Gorse. And then the other colorway, uh, the lighter colorway is Wolf. Wolf. So I, the pattern calls for a size 8. But my size 8s were somewhere else. So I did it on a 7. And since it was a shawl, I'm like, you know, gauge really doesn't matter on this, uh, on a shawl. So For sure. I'm positive. Okay. So this is the beginnings. And I hope to have this done in the next week or so. <clears throat> yes, I don't go back to work until, is it Wednesday or Thursday? I don't even know. But anyway, I showed this bag on um, Instagram and I got a lot of compliments on it. I got this bag as well from um, from Hill Weavers and it is my llama bag. It's a zipper. Are they alpaca? They're llamas. They're llamas. I don't know the difference. Have you seen? Have you ever seen a llama run? No. They. They jump. It is the cutest thing. Anyway, so the bag is Danica Studio, and it shows it's a cosmetic bag. But you guys know we'll that we'll 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 make anything a. Um, but it was in the yarn store, so <clears throat> anyway, it works. It works. So I am in love with this project, and I am thoroughly enjoying it. It was not on my list of things to do, but. Really? You don't have to just throw my stuff down. Okay, so in my projects in queue, picks. Picks from last episode or the episode before last. Okay. You were supposed to say pick. No, I say project. In okay. In my pick section, projects in queue. Projects in queue was my hus husband's socks. And I got to tell you, <clears throat> so this is my third pair of socks that I have knit. <clears throat> for his daddy size 14 feet not an easy feet get it not an easy feet F -E -A -K. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> um and i've repaired the first pair of socks i've ever made him and yesterday he had on my turtle pearl socks that i had made for him and i had him to remove one of his socks so that i could you know see where i was on the pair of socks that i was currently knitting him y'all I looked at the bottom of the heel of these socks and I could see right through them. And I told him, I said, I don't know what's going on. I said, I, I don't ever wear through my socks. And I said, and he said, he looked at me and he said, Yolanda, I'm just rough on socks. And I'm like, I'm just going to have to totally rethink how I knit his socks because I, I just can't keep. I'm just knitting two socks. Well, what I'm going to do on oh, this one, suck. That's twice as thick. what I'm going to do on this one is I don't know that I, I don't even know that I brought it in here. It's the chicken bag. Let me see if I have something that's similar. I do. Similar. Sim similar. So I've similar. got some of this uh, Regia. Reinforcement thread. Put it right here. Put it right here. Put it right here. <laughs> How did you know that? I don't know. That, that sounds a guess. <laughs> 
boy, you make me proud sometimes, <laughs> I tell you. So, yes, it is a reinforcement thread. And I've got, <laughs> I've got a black one. And so when I get to the heel on these new socks that I'm doing, I'm going to see if, if holding this with the yarn is going to help to secure and reinforce the socks. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go to some kind of industrial strength yarn <laughs> for his socks because I love to knit socks. It is probably one of my favorite things to knit, but I just can't keep repairing his socks. Or, or I can just start doing the afterthought heel on his socks, Jordan, and then just take the heel out when he's worn it out and just re-knit the heel. Because you can't really, you can't do that with the flegal heel. So those two socks are kind of down and out. Uh oh. <laughs> but I, Legal but socks. so I'm going to, so what I'm going to do on these socks, this is third time to charm. I'm still going to do the flegal heel on these socks with the reinforcement thread. If he blows through these heels with the reinforcement thread in here as well, then I will start knitting his socks with the afterthought heel. And when he goes through them, I will just totally re-knit the heel and then he'll have a perfectly new pair of socks. So we're gonna see how this goes. But with that being said, mm. so, I don't know what you're doing when you're over here. I know, these smell good. They, Are they in there with the I think uh, so, uh -huh. yeah. a scented sachet. 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 Okay, I don't know what just happened, but I think my my yarn just got tangled. Okay, so these are being knit out of... <clears throat> Thank you, sir. These are being knit out of... Um, Tweety, Tweety Toes by Two Guys Yarn Co. And they... This is my first time working with Tweed, and I love the bits of uh, Donegal in them. And it's funny because when I am knitting them, and if you guys have ever knit with tweed, you know that when you get to the stitch that has the tweed, the Donegal attached to it, is it gonna go to the outside or is it gonna go to the inside? And I'm like, oh my God, let this one go to the, you know, the inside. But I have just as many bits on the inside as I do on the outside. So I'm really, really happy with that. So let me see if I can focus that so you guys can see the tweedy bits. The tweedy bits the Tweety bits so it's got some light colored and some dark colored ones anyway I am enjoying this is my first I got this yarn from DFW Fiber Fest in 2018 because I don't think we went in 2019 yes we did not in 2019 it was 2019 my bad we have not missed we've not missed one since we started going did so we, go? we didn't go this year because of COVID pandemic like I, I lost track of years <laughs> okay because this was a year remember this was a year we were going to actually stay at the hotel and stay there for the whole entire weekend we were going to make a big oh. a big weekend of it so well, hopefully we'll be able to do that i don't know <laughs> i don't know I, 20 2021 you know we're still we're still not there yet so i'm not sure what's going to happen okay you ready Go ahead. No. <laughs> no, what? No, I, I was just oh, waiting for you to finish. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Living on a prayer. Okay, back to the nun, <laughs> the nun shenanigans. Anyway, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> the laptop, you know, after 30 minutes, the computer, the a camera stops and says Whew, we need a break and then it starts but we can start back up anyway so the toes are on nitpicks uh stroll in black so i plan on doing the toe the back of the t the back of the heel and the cuff in the black as well so hopefully all will be well these are 72 <laughs> stop get back up here these are 72 stitch count sock and they're going to be with the flegal heel with the uh, reinforced thread and they're on a US size 1 2.25 millimeter. 
they are living in my utterly adorable knit bag with chickens anyway i've had this bag for a while i used to be able to make a good turkey sound you, okay gobble gobble to you too no like an, an act like it sounds like an actual turkey um, all right so so we're done with pigs. whips no pigs no whips pigs. that was that was a pick. You said we were. In... <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know where we are right now. Was this? Oh wait. It wasn't my pick from the last time. So we hadn't made it to picks. We hadn't made it to picks. Why did we bring it up earlier? Because that was a pro. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Focus. All right. Now I do have a project in queue. It is one that we that I talked about in the last episode. And I did not get around to doing it. However, I'm going to do it. Even though Christmas is over, over. I still need to knit my Christmas socks. They are sitting in my Bumpy Craft bag mm. that I have had for a while. I've got several of her bags. And if you guys don't know about her, go check her out. So, these are my... Um, uh, all is calm, all is bright colorway from Mitchell's creation. I have a ton of Tara's yarns. Anyway, I love them. It is not your traditional uh, Christmas colorway, but I am pairing it up with her red from Kwanzaa 2019 to give it a pop of color. So yes, that is what's in here. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, um, I'll be able to get those because I want to I want to do what everybody else is doing. I want to have 25 pairs of Christmas socks to wear one one day every day in December. A different pair. Would that not be cool? December 31 days. Christmas is only two, up until 25. Okay, so that's in my pick section, which is? Project and Q. Project and Q. Now, let's move on to acquisitions. And guys. Money. I know. That you heard me say, I have not spent any money this year. I wasn't really going to spend any money this year. I was going to knit from my stash. And that lasted all but about five. One, two, three, four, five minutes. And it's because of you enablers. If I did not watch <laughs> your podcast, I would still be yarn free purchase free but but it, but it just can't happen for me i i just <laughs> i don't even i don't i don't for spending money <laughs> i don't know what to say so we're gonna start with a new to me dyer woolen and nash i was watching the bearded pearl podcast with caleb and justin it's you guys's fault um, but I'm very happy that you enabled me because I absolutely loved what I received. Now, let me find it. So, um, let me see, let me make sure that I'm seeing this right. So the dyer behind Wool and Naj, she has a line of yarn called Kiss, keeping it simply sock series, I believe, or keeping it striped. You know what? I'm I'm probably literally butchering this. So let me let me, me simply sock. No, I think it's I think the word stripe is in it. Keeping it simply striped sock. So let's see. Woolen. Keeping it striped sock. Huh? Keeping it simply striped. Keeping it sock simply series. It's kiss with four S's. Oh, it, it, is it? Kiss. Okay, so no, it's called um Oh, keeping it simply striped sock series. Oh, so yes. <laughs> this particular series of socks is very affordable if you are wanting to venture into striped socks. I know the more colors that our, our indie dyers do, the, the, the more time it takes to do it. So of course that time equates to a little bit more um, in money. But these socks, this sock set that she has is a very good value so i encourage all of you i'll have it in the show notes below to go out and check out her shop because very very affordable 
So this is a set that I got and I absolutely am in love with it. It is, stop. Can you, can you cover your face? <laughs> it is <laughs> on 75% Stop! It is 75% superwash Coradell, 25% nylon. It's a three ply and it is 300. I don't know why this is not one of the focus today, Jordan. It is 383 yards and it is beautiful. It is called Snowy Day. I have never knit with Coradell, so I'm excited about that. And Justin and Caleb were the ones that that turned me on to this. So thank you so much for enabling me. I appreciate it. Spend money. Spend money. Spin, 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 spin. Now, um, my next acquisition, Justin and Caleb had nothing to do with. <laughs> it was all on me. So, you know, you guys know I am a big fan of Hypnotic Yarn. I am a member of her yarn club. I am also an ambassador to her yarn club. This, guys is what I got from her. Wow. Beautiful. So this colorway is called Stiletto. This colorway that's got the beautiful speckles in it, ugh, it's called Irony, which is ironic. ironic. And this colorway is called green, which is ironic. <laughs> okay, okay. It, it, you know what? Just to, just to be honest, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been a minute since we podcast together. So this is her colorway green, which is gorgeous. So I got those because she uh, was showing her new colors that were coming out. So. Of course, I got to support my girl and support my stash. Right, Jordan? Always. Okay, so that's that. And then, and then, and then. let me see. And then I went to a new yarn store on January the 1st. Did you? I did. You were probably still asleep. Uh, of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> so you didn't get to go. Uh, it is Lone Star Yarn in Bedford, Texas. She was having her grand opening and I saw that Christine was going, my friend Christine. So I said, let me just jump on the bandwagon and go as well. So beautiful yarn shop, small, but she is definitely adding to her inventory. So if you guys are local to the Dallas Fort Worth area, I'm all about supporting small business. So you guys go out and check her out. Um, like I said, she has, she is growing and it will help her if we support her. So while I was there, I purchased uh, this DK weight cotton, which, mm, hmm, mm -hmm. cotton. It's black and white. It's showing a little bit of a different it looks color. Like an Oreo. It does look like Oreo. <laughs> anyway, my sister picked it out. She came with me. Or cookies and cream. Oh, cookies and cream. Same thing. Oh, cookies and cream. So this is Cotton Supreme DK C spray. Um, I'm going to make a hat for my sister, even though it's cotton. Um, I have to think about that, but, um, but anyway, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. So I got this. It sucks. No, not with cotton. And Why then not? guys, I got, uh, this is a new to me dye or two called dye to spin. And let me see, what did I write Ooh. down? She has an Etsy shop. Um, and I'll put that information down below. 
And this is on worsted weight, 100% superwash marine, uh, merino. And this Marino. is in her Ron <laughs> and Hermione Forever colorway. Look at that gorgeousness in this. When I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Oh, let me see. There we go. It is beautiful. Beautiful. So anyway, so that's that. that. And then I got a project bag, a Knit Picks project bag that I am using for, uh, I have a bunch of size one Chalgu needles and as you can see, a bunch, a bunch. So anyway, I bought that for these so that I can house them. And here's another, here's another enabler. So Caleb and Justin, from the Bearded Pearl. I have not finished watching their latest episode. They were keeping me company last night after midnight. And I saw the bag that was sewn on that episode for their needles, etc. And now I, I want one. I want one. I, yep, I want one. So anyway, I'm going to get one, I think. So I also got this uh, soak in the fig, uh, the fig uh, scent. Jordan, smell this. Oh, you know what? I think it's sealed. Open it. Oh, but you can smell it. Can you smell it? Can it's, you smell it? Yeah, I do. Well, you, you like it? Yeah. Never had a fig. Oh, smell it. Fig. Smell it. Smell it. <sighs> it's nice. It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? It does smell nice. Yes. Next time I do some socks for you all soak them in this okay yeah. so i think jordan let me see here guys because i had a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> of stuff yeah so that was my acquisitions through my own um through my own stuff so let me take a brief intermission and let me clear some of this stuff off so i can show you the nitpicks not nick so i can show you the knit crate and the uh, hypnotic yarn okay so here's the acquisition section and for the yarnable subscription that i am a member of and also an ambassador you guys if you want to try out uh, hypnotic yarn i highly encourage you to sign up for the link that will notify you when her club opens up for new members and I will have the link down below for you. If you do decide, Jordan, Mom. To, to participate, participate in, the in the Yarn Club, you will receive $5 off of your first order by using the word happy. Just happy. Happy. Good job. Happy. happy. The other one. Yes, happy. So anyway, so this is December's colorway, and I'm sure everybody has gotten theirs because it's freaking January, right? So ribbon candy. I'm gonna stand. Oh. Uh huh. That's what you get. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up, guys. Look at the speckles in this yarn, and it's the Christmas colorway, of course. So, <laughs> are you okay? You're not injured, are you? No. So it's 85% <laughs> superwash merino, 15% nylon, and three 437 yards. So with this particular kit, you also received this cute little. Let me show it to you. Fair Isle. There we go. There we go. Fair Isle. Uh, anyway, it's, it's kind of crooked. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, it's cute. I love it. You just, if you're a pin person, that's adorable. And then, guys, I got a pom pom. A pom -pom. Cute pom pom. A snap pom pom. Not one that has to because be you really anymore. can't wash these so you like so the snap ones are great because you can just snap it off and then so this one is hold on by Jess Gas Crochet and Designs there you go mm -hmm. it's beautiful they're gone oh look at how you when you shook that out how it expanded <laughs> it's almost like static electricity how cool is that okay so i love it so that is from i know that is from hypnotic yarn so i'm gonna go real fast on this knit crate because i don't know what happened but i got one two three four five six 
you know, I had issues uh, in the summer with getting my uh, knit crate um, stains and they have definitely um, done their job to get me all of the stains. So hold these, Jordan, and read. We're going to go fast because I know you... Hold and read, all right. Hold and read. This colorway is Unwind, 55% fine merino wool, 30% baby alpaca, and 15% mulberry silk. This is the August colorway. They were doing an inspiration theme. Nice and green. <laughs> nice and green. We all love And these are some of the the pictures in the book. You get two skin. Hmm? Let me put this in your face. So beautiful, beautiful. So anyway, this is the front of the cover. So that's that. And show them this, Jordan, while I... What is it? It's a... Progress keeper in the shape. I don't know so, if it's a stitch. Turn it around. What? No. There's still, it's still not turned around. It, it, it flipped on me. It flipped on you. Little sun. How yeah. pretty. Here yeah. comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Oh, the B movie. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the sun. All right, next. 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 Oh wait, are, are, are these all Vitalana or is that something else? Uh, this one was... No, this oh. was Auden Wools. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Auden Wools. This one is Vitalana. Vitalana. That's August. 50% superwash merino, 30% linen, or linen, mm -hmm. linen, 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 and 20% silk. Ooh, y'all Sandstone. And I'm gonna tell you that is so soft. Soft. It's so soft. Is it the linen? Yes, yeah, the linen. Look, or is it silk? It's the both. It's the both. It's the both. <laughs> it's the combination. It won't it's focus. both. Take okay. it down and turn it back up. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So and then they include it in um in August, this little coaster that says sip one, stitch one, repeat. A sip per stitch? I don't know if you'd make it to the end of the, <laughs> of your project. I got you, a lot of coffee. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about coffee. You young one. <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh. All those people usually drink like tea they and do. stuff while they do. They do. They do. I don't drink. Not not everybody. <laughs> not everybody's a teetotaler. <gasps> Look. What is it? It is a crochet. It's a stabby thing. It's a crochet hook. I think this. I think they use this for Tunisian. So you. So anybody that crochets, correct me if I'm wrong. If this is uh, not a to Tunisian crochet hook, I'm not sure. Okay, Jordan, yeah, show that. Woo! So pretty. This is that's the yarn. That's the July colorway. Look at, before he shows you, let me show you this beautiful pattern on the front. Is that not gorgeous? Okay, Jordan. My friends. You're back. The colorway is Hustle. And it hustle. is 100% organic Pima, Pima? Pima. Pima cotton. Beautiful. Wait. This is great for summer shawls, wraps market bags and anything else that you can think of that is um i don't know what's going on in the real. <laughs> our computer is whacking out like i said it's at the end of his life <laughs> okay so that that colorway right there ooh, this is almost the colorway that was in my wedding is it? so so many years ago yes you were just a twinkle in my eye. Okay, moving on, because I want you guys to I value your time. So it was big. <laughs> woo! Chunky chunky! This is also Uru yarn. <laughs> it's been in the box so long. I kept it shape. So this is the pattern. Put it in front of your head. This is the pattern for or for that um it smells like yarn. Chunky yarn that Jordan has. Oh they got okay, go ahead. It is, this colorway is Petal, is 82% Merino wool, 18% Peruvian Pima. Cotton. Cotton. And it's on their Super base. Super bulky. Chunk. 
And what's it? It's in it's in the it's in the book. <laughs> Chonk. Chonk. With an O. C H O N K. And it is ultra fluffy air spun blend. And it is 109 yards. It's a 100 gram skein. And it is a beautiful color. Beautiful color. Big. It's big. And that color, well, you said that colorway was petal. It's kind petal. of a dusty rogue color is how they describe it. So dusty anyway, show them this uh, progress keeper because it's in the form of a little tiny skein. Is that not cute? It does come up as a little skein. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving on. Oh, so while I'm, so, I'm showing you this, guys, I forgot to give you the, the 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 spiel. So, spiel. Yes. So I'm an ambassador to Knit Crate. I love Knit Crate. Um, they have been doing wonderful, wonderful things. Um, and if you are interested in subscribing to their membership, it's twenty four dollars, twenty four ninety nine a month. And if you want to try it out, or their sock club is nineteen ninety nine a month. If you want to try it out, you will get receive a discount um, by using the, the words what, Jordan? Happy 20. Happy 20. Yeah. Happy 20. So you guys definitely go out uh, and get 20% off of your first order with Knit Crate. You will not be disappointed. So let's finish up. Ooh. <laughs> you know I love the surprises. That knit crate gives us. Look at that. I think I, I actually think did I already show that one? I, I think so. I think I did show this one already. Never show you. <laughs> no, because Flor Florence does. Okay, yeah. Doesn't ring. Yeah, any. doesn't ring a bell. Well, the color, the, the colorway is Florence. Florence. Look, Florence. What does that mean? I don't know. Florence. Sixty percent superwash merino, twenty percent alpaca, and twenty percent nylon. Ooh, look I at the grays. Like look at the grays shown. and the purples in that. I yeah. love it. Don't focus on my face. It's focusing on your face. Yeah. That's beautiful. Okay, next. This is the December colorway. December. This is Uru yarn on the. Is that on the unicorn side? Unicorn! <laughs> unicorn! So, uh, his colorway is wish list. Yeah, December, Christmas, wish list. Wish list, get wow. it. Okay. 75% <laughs> yeah. superwash merino, 15%. What? 15%. Donegal. 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 Nips. That's the same that's Donegal in your nips. daddy's socks. The little, the little, the little nips. What, what really? Um, yeah. See the little white specks? Oh, so, yep. And 10% nylon. So show that to them so they can see all the tweeniness. All the little nips. Isn't that nips. gorgeous? It's gorgeous. gorgeous. Okay, beautiful. And, and I think we I have one. We only have one more to show you. <gasps> Ooh! Uh -uh. Oh, and they included this little bag which is adorable y'all so y'all know that a lot of the, the 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 yarn that you guys see from knit crate i wait till the end of the year to give out for the 12 days of christmas cal so just know what you're seeing this year what you're seeing now will probably be prizes in december of next year jordan i'll tell you Ooh. Okay, pick those two up and show those. And they included a cute purple bag called Yarn Squad. Okay, Jordan, you do your thing. Oh, it's New Yorker. Oh, that's ah. cute. Oh, and it's got Stelina in it. 80% merino wool, 10% cashmere, and 10% Stelina. How many yards is it? Uh... 250 yards, 100 grams. Let's see if we can get the sparkle. Y'all see the sparkle? Look at the sparkle. There you go, Jordan. Sparkle. Sparkle. Kind of coming up. Anyway, so that's kind of a lilac color. It's, it's kind of a lilac gray color, wouldn't it's you say? 100 grams. 
Um, generally speaking, they usually do 100 grams. Yes. Yes. Okay. And there's two of those. So definitely enough to make Double up. whatever it is that you, your heart's desire to, make. to be made. To make. Okay, so Jordan, I think... So. I think that we covered everything. I think we covered everything. Okay, so... So there's a couple of things I want to talk about for 2021. No, that's something I already had for 2021. Um, so as far as talking yeah. about goals, etc., cetera, um, I am pushing myself to make more tutorials for this uh, channel. Um, I've got one in the works now. I've got another one um, that I am uh, perceiving to do. And so, yeah, so that's my goal for this year is to bring you guys more content uh, surrounding um, craft ideas um, that can help with your uh, your knitting such as the the, the uh, socks uh, the labels that I made for the socks so things like that and like I said also tutorials to help if you want to learn how to make socks or if you are a beginner knitter and you want to learn how to make shawls or uh, hats or things of that nature I'm going to try to incorporate a lot more of that this year into my channel so with that being said do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bells so you can see him yawn through my podcast so that you yeah so that you will not miss an episode um, and the bell can tell you hey she's got another one uploaded ding, ding. also follow me on Instagram as well because I do giveaways on there um, that I don't necessarily do on YouTube so that's also a source for you guys also and awesome. i think with that jordan i'm looking to make sure that i didn't forget anything excuse you you have anything you want to say before we get ready to sign off on this hot mess express <laughs> <laughs> happy new year happy new year guys <laughs> bye bye, bye, -bye. Thank you.